Welcome back. Now we're going to talk to Dr. Neil Badlani about some of the other kinds of procedures offered by North American Spine. Dr. Badlani, thank you for being here with thank us. Thank you for having me. All right, let's talk about some of the orthopedic spine procedures um, that are different than the ones that we've already covered. Absolutely. Uh, when talking about spine surgery, there are essentially two different types of surgeries we do on the spine. The first involves decompression of the nerves in the spine, and the second involves a spinal fusion for a completely collapsed disc, um, and that involves restoring stability to the spine. In some procedures, we do both a decompression of the nerves and a spinal fusion. So patients will commonly present to us with back pain and pain or numbness that radiates down their legs. In older patients, this is usually caused by spinal stenosis, which is the compression of the nerves in the lower part of the spine. In younger patients, it may often be caused by a herniated disc, meaning some of the disc material is herniated out into the space for the nerves and compressing the nerves. The procedure we do for that is a truly minimally invasive procedure called a microdiscectomy or a microlaminectomy. We remove some of the bone spurs in the back part of the spine. And we remove the disc material that's putting pressure on the nerves. It's done through a very small incision, less than one inch. There's very little blood loss. The procedure takes about an hour. Patients go home after surgery and can resume activities very quickly. In other patients, they may present with back pain from other causes such as a very collapsed disc or instability in the spine, which we call spondylolisthesis. Those patients need a little bit more than just a decompression. They may also need a stabilization of the vertebra, and that's a spinal fusion. Again, we can do this through a minimally invasive technique using a small incision on their flank or very small incisions in their back to restore the normal height of the disc and to stabilize the bones by putting small screws in. This can be also be done using a robotic technique so we can keep these incisions very small. Uh, in the cervical spine, we can also do these minimally invasive procedures. Commonly, we refer to that as an ACDF, an anterior cervical discectomy infusion. Again, a small incision is made, we dissect down to the spine, we remove the collapsed disc, or restore the normal space with uh, a bone graft or a spacer. And again, patients are able to go home right after surgery and resume activities very quickly. So much of what you say puts a patient at ease explaining the process. but. I